Good morning, good morning, everyone. This is Financial Literacy 101. And today, we'll be talking about a pharmaceutical stock, but this one, in its nature, is very different than the other two that we have been going through on Monday and Tuesday. So I thought midweek, I'll do something totally different here. Still a pharmaceutical stock, but it's not a pharmaceutical company. This particular pharmaceutical stock actually hold the royalties and assets of certain pharmaceutical stocks. This is different because you may find value in this one other than the other two. Okay. You may find value in this one than the other two. So let's not make waste because this is probably something that you guys want to invest in. Then again, understand this is biopharmaceutical week or pharmaceutical week. And that this information is for entertainment, but you can use it as investment. I had I have done my research, but if you notice, I haven't been telling you guys, oh, you should invest, you should invest. I'm just saying it's probably a good opportunity for you to invest. A lot of risks, okay, a lot of volatility, etc. You've heard me say these words a hundred times throughout this um, particular week. But since it's midweek, I thought I'd do something different, okay? I'll do something different, but nonetheless, here we go. Now, Enova. I'm not I'm not gonna call it Enova, I'm just gonna call it uh, is it Innoviva? Innoviva. We'll go with that. Innoviva. So, over the past five years, let me shrink this down just a little bit. Hopefully, you guys can see that on your screens. Innoviva has been up 21.88%, roughly 22%. In the past year, they've been down 9.29%. The past three months, almost 21% they've been down. The past month, 3% up. The past week, 5% up. And, of course, it's off market right now, but nonetheless, They've been doing quite good as of late. They're not, not too bad at all. And here's one of them stocks that, again, if you were to hold it for a long, very long time, you probably would have sold some profits. Now, not too many pharmaceutical stocks I would ever tell you to hold for a long time, but this has the potential of being held for a quite considerable time. Now, uh, Innoviva, also called, okay, they always do this to me, is engaged in development, commercialization, and financial management of biopharmaceuticals. Its portfolio includes Velvar, Brio Ellipta, which is a once daily combination medicine consisting of a long acting beta 2 agonist. And then it says Valaterol and an inhale cortisocor. Yeah, guys, don't, please don't judge me. <laughs> Some of these words are absolutely hard. They're talking about one a day medicine combining a long term. Um, Says so the company was founded by. P. Roy, Vagalos, yeah, even their names are hard. That's why they named all these weird names. But again, this company started back in 1996, okay? And they have only six employees. But again, they're doing pretty good. They're doing pretty good. And we're going to get into the deeps and dives here um, when we hit the Yahoo Finance page, okay? So no dividends and the related, of course, pharmaceuticals. But look at this. Look here. This is interesting. This stock looked like it was doing very well. Then boom, dropped off in Q3. Let's see what happened on Q3. We'll talk about it. Now people are investing in Glee Science, Cisco, Pfizer, and Moderna. Okay. So while we're in market watch, let's look at their uh, YTD and their performance very quickly. Ooh, not too good. Year to date, that's YTD, they've been down 22%. Wow. So people who invested in the IPO of this stock, they're down 22%. But if you invest in the stock in the past month or so, then you're up almost 11%, okay? That's the way I look at it. But this, nonetheless, is a stock, is a stock that is operating out of profit. Have you noticed Throughout this week, that all the biopharmaceutical stocks slash pharmaceutical stocks are operating a operating out of profit. Have you noticed that? That <sighs> medicine, let me tell you, is money to be made. Now, the market watch analyst over here has it as a sale. It has it as a sale. Unbelievable. Can't believe it. Because we're going to see a contradiction here. Okay. They have it as a sale. Wow. Okay. Any pertinent news here? Let's see. Glassico, Innovo. Now, Glassico Klein, believe it or not, is under Innoviva, okay, as one of the royalties. So that's that's a big push there, okay? And we're going to get into this. Let's get into this. Now, let's break down 
how the volatility in this stock could have made you guys some money. Now, if I go back, I don't want to go back too far, but when I look at this, if you bought this back in 08, which, you know, probably wouldn't, <laughs> down at $5.46, and then here it is, 2013, went up to almost $33 per share. Now, let's, let's see what happened during Q3. Look at this. That wasn't Q3 of, um, excuse me, from Robin Hood. Let's get a little closer. And here we go. Right? Because right now it's at $11. So right now it dropped down to around Q3 to $10.54. No, that was 2019. My apologies. Right here. $11.76. Then it went up to $14. So even then, even then, I know there's a small amount of profit here, around two or three bucks, but nonetheless, buying stocks during COVID-19 time and time again has been profitable for a lot of people. Again, those investors, like I came out on my channel and I told people, bye, 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 bye. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but then what I'm saying is if you would have bought it during COVID-19, you would have made, you know, three or four dollars on your profit. Hey. Making money is always good, okay? Making money is always good regardless of how you look at it, okay? But now they drop down, we'll see here, around September 1st, they dropped down to $10.45. Then they went back up to $11.03, okay? Um, let's see what else that we have on here, nothing too much. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to remind you once again that through this week, I won't really be responding in a chat room, but please leave your comments and I will respond, okay? If you guys have any questions, any suggestions of uh, stock reviews you want to see, please let me know. All right, Zach's. This is why this is important. Remember, Zach's has it as a strong buy. Zach has it as a strong buy. Look at this. I'm just blowing it up for you guys. And Market Watch has this as a sale. Look at this. Market Watch has this as a sale. That's what the analysts are saying. Wow. That's a, that's a huge contradiction. Not hold or buy, right? Not hold, but literally sell. And then Zach's has it as a strong buy. See, and that's what you're talking about. Uh, analysts on two different sides of the, of the spectrum. See what I'm saying here? Look at this. Styles for value. A. Grow. C. Momentum. F. VGM score of AC. I like it. I think that is, I kind of agree with Zach on this one. I believe that the long-term value of this stock is good. I believe that the gross is struggling a little bit. And the momentum definitely is failing. But the overall score is a C. So again, this could be good for your portfolio. Now, when it comes to what they're holding, let's look at this. Some of you guys may be familiar if you heavily invest in pharmaceutical stocks, Okay. But look at stuff like Glasgow Klein. That's a big name, okay? That's a big name. And that's also listed for you guys to invest in, okay? And there, here are some other names that I just, I don't want to beat up. But they hold all these royalties. Listen to what it says. Innoviva is a company with a portfolio, listen to this, of royalties that include respiratory assets. Respiratory. Does COVID-19 deal with respiratory? 1,000% it deals with respiratory. And right now, we still don't have a cure, even though Pfizer is like, oh, we're 90% there. And yeah, no cure yet, guys. No cure yet. So when you come down here, it gives you all the name of these companies and or drugs. It says, our trademarks of the Glasgow smith Klein group of companies. Okay, and here are some of the results. Innoviva is committed to providing long-term value to its investor by strengthening its portfolio and reducing its overall corporate cost of capital. Innoviva's corporate structure and access to public market allows for a creative and flexible approach to generating value for its stockholders, which is you. And uh, so Innoviva has demonstrated its commitment to return value to shareholders through its capital return program. And I got a little chart to show people what they've been doing. Okay? So not too much to see on this one because, again, this one essentially is a, is a stock that holds the royalty of assets of these other pharmaceutical stocks. And one being the largest, Glasgow Smith Klein. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your 
uh, comments in the section below so I can respond to you guys as well. I hope everybody is doing a having a great week like I am. You know, I'm on vacation. And you guys are at home. <laughs> and you guys are at work. <laughs> I know I'm clowning. I know I'm clowning. But nonetheless, make sure that you're at least at home making that good old money. And this could be a great stock for your portfolio. Okay? Now, ladies and gentlemen, you see my little tag here. Click the join button below to become a member of my channel. Every month, I come out with a trading secret, essentially. And a trading secret just means that I just don't normally, okay? I just don't normally give out certain information because, you know, I've got to keep a little bit to myself. But if people want to pay for that, very nominal fee, $2 a month, you know, to the price of a cheap loaf of bread, then I'll give you that information so you can make good money. I, I'm pretty sure it'll be worth your while. I'm pretty sure. The last one I gave, people are making good money off of that. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, this is Financial Literacy 101. Learn money and be inspired. You guys have a great and wonderful day. And hump, baby. It's, it's hump day, so I wanted to say hump. And that it be sexual. Hump, baby. Hump, baby. Hump, hump, hump. <laughs> I'm out.